What is up, dude? Let's get into this. It's Friday. It's Thursday. We're talking about these. See, I got my days all mixed up. Because well, yesterday I worked. And yesterday normally is my day off. I don't work on Wednesdays. So yesterday I had a, a fill-in. and uh, So today, today's today is actually Thursday, not Friday. I'm ready for this day, guys. I feel good today. I'm trying to get going. Got a full book. I think I got like maybe two spots in the afternoon sometime. But other than that, I'm relatively busy. Pretty booked up. Um, we're short-handed again today, so it's gonna, it's gonna be me, Raul, and and uh, and uh, and Dave. So it'll be my me and my two apprentices today. So that's all we're rolling with right now. That's all I got, guys. That's all I got. It really, you know, guys. I even if I had three or four more barbers, it's just not busy enough for that. Um, you know, it, it, we we are at a struggling stage right now. We're not booming in business. Um, me myself. I'm doing good. I'm really, really busy, but my boys, my boys haven't been that busy. They've been, they've been uh, uh, slacking off. God, this thing's coming in white now. Huh? It's crazy. Um, yeah. So my boys, you know, they, they have been, you know, Dave, Dave's just getting started. So you know, he gets in all the flow, all the walking flow. Uh, Raul, Raul's building up his book really good. He's doing really, really good in promoting himself and and, and getting people inside his chair and getting them to come back. Um, he has nowhere to go but up, you know, so does Dave. Dave has nowhere to go but up. Dave's just going to get better and better every day. And he's just knocking out the haircuts and his fades are coming out on point. So he's doing a really good job. I'm really proud of the boys there. They, you know, they, they handle, they've been handling business, taking care of things. And, um, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know, um, Biz, Biz is on vacation this week, so he's not working. He won't be back till next week. Um, then next week. Next week on the 1st, on October 1st, uh, Raul's only going to work up until Tuesday and that's it. Then he'll be off for a whole week because next Thursday I'm actually, uh, my my new grandson is coming into the world, little Andrew. So uh, he's going to be born on the 1st, which is a very special day in our family. October 1st in our family is a special day because that was my dad's birthday. My dad was born on October 1st. Then my daughter, Janelle, was born on October 1st. And then now she's having her child on October 1st. So she's actually having her baby on her own birthday, which is kind of exciting. It's, it's a special day in our family, like I said. And uh, we're just super excited that he's coming. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm shorthanded right now. Work is, you know, it, it hasn't been the greatest. But you know what, guys? Like I've said it before and before, said it over and over, is that 2020 is about survival about making it through these years get through this year and then next year you know next year will be better i guarantee you that we just got to get through this year but i'm headed to the shop right now i'm gonna stop and get myself a coffee get in there and get started on this day guys i hope you guys are grinding i hope you guys are working i hope you guys are making some money let's do this well boys and girls that's it for today this day is over um today's thursday you know it was busy busy for me only for me. Was well, only me and Raul working today, guys. You know, like guys, I've been telling you guys that business has been good, but it's only good for me. You know, I'm mean? like overall for the shop. Um, 2020 has been a disaster. So has this month, if you really think about it. Even so has today, if you really think about it. Um, I did 16 haircuts. Raul did six haircuts. You think about it. That's only uh, 22 haircuts for the day for the shop for a Thursday. That's hating it, guys. That's hating it. The only thing is I'm carrying the whole load. I'm doing most of the haircuts. Um, but, yeah, compared to, I, I was comparing my numbers this year co compared to other years. Like, say, for instance, just last year at this time right now, on this day alone, we had not, we didn't have 22 haircuts. We had something like 42 haircuts, you know, for the whole shop. Because at that time, we had five, six barbers. Right now, we're, we're down to two barbers. Uh, so, you know what? It is what it is. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just kind of giving you guys some numbers to, to let you guys show you guys so you guys can understand that business, although business is good for me, myself personally, but I'm working way harder than I was last year. So um, 
it, 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 it just seems like business is good, but it really, in reality, it's just we're just skating by, guys. We're scraping by, you know. It has been a lot slower than when we, when we were closed. We were a lot busier. It just seems like, like right now that we're open, it seems like we're a lot more uh, uh, slower now, you know. Not me myself personally, but the boys. Like yesterday, like for instance, yesterday Wednesday. No, I mean, but of course, people didn't really know I was working, so I I, I don't know. What we, it, that that's, has a lot to do with it, but um, you know, it, it's just been like that. It's been like that. So I, I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna keep grinding through it. That's what I'm gonna do. Dude. I'm just gonna keep grinding through it. Hopefully things get better. Keep uh, uh, producing ads and, and putting them up. You know, I've been paying for Google ads, and I think Google ads are wasting my money right now. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I'm I'm saying it because I could tell. Like for instance, I, I last this last month I paid one hundred and sixty seven dollars for Google ads and. And I can't really tell people are calling from them. I can't, I can't. I don't know if I'm just dumping my money to them or and giving it to them for nothing, but I don't see the difference. Maybe right now because of the way the times are, but I don't see the difference. I don't see the difference at all. I see the same people come through here, my, my same clientele, my new clientele. What I gotta do is cut the, those ads out, stop paying for them and just put my own time into putting my own ads in, you know, do them through the yard sales. The yard sale ads work so good, but they're just, uh, it's just discouraging sometimes putting them up. It's 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 a drag. I hate you know I'm like I hate going through my phone and having to post them up. But they really 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 do work. Uh, so tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow we'll just we'll grind through it. Let's keep going. Keep going. That's all, that's all you can do, guys. All you can do. There's nothing more you can do. So it's the end of the day. Time for tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. I know you guys heard me mention this one before. And this is a tip, guys, not a trick, it's a tip. It's a good tip. This is bothering me right here. Let me wipe this down real quick, guys. Because I keep looking over at it and it's bothering me to wipe down my station right there. See? I have that OCD kind of thing. But guys, check this out. Tips and tricks. Number one tip. Number one tip for new barbers, guys. Number one tip for new barbers. I've said this to you guys a million times. If you guys haven't been on this channel before, if you guys are new to this channel, this is probably the first time you're gonna hear it. But when you're a new barber, you greet everyone, everyone. You hear me? When somebody walks in that door, whether they're here for you, they're here for the boss, they're here for the guy next to you, the guy next to you on this side, you say what's up. You say hello. If you can, you shake their hand. If not, bump, fist bump them right now, elbow bump them, whatever you gotta do. You tell them, hi, how are you? You know what I mean? Make sure that they acknowledge you. Make sure that they know who you are because it's super important, guys. Let everybody know who you are. Once everybody knows who you are, then when they come to the shop, they're always going to talk to you. They're always going to be, oh, hey, I know that guy. I see him here all the time. And then one day when their barber's not here, guess what? They're going to give you that chance. And they're going to be right there. And you're going to right there and scoop them up. And that's what it's all about, guys, having that good attitude. Get here early. Get here early. Be the last one to leave. Look at I'm the last one to leave every single day. That's the way you get to the top, guys. You want to be on top? Then you have to be on time. And you got to be the last one to leave. And you got to do all haircuts. And you got to greet everybody. Keep those four things in line, guys. And you will be all right. So that's it for today. This day is over. Again, I didn't record any haircuts. I'm slacking on that. I know. I know. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, it's just, you know, it's been difficult having to record haircuts. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to get on it, and we'll get better at this. But, guys, with that being said, that's it for this video. I appreciate every single one of you guys coming on Big Al's Bar Channel. Remember, Big Al's Barber Channel is here to help you get better at your career in barbering. If you have any questions, leave them below. I answer everybody, as long as it's a barber question. And for you people that are leaving me all these crazy shit, don't even bother. I don't answer crazy shit. So it has to do with barbering, and it has to be doing with... Well, what we're talking about here, guys, don't go off on something else. I ain't talking to you. And for all those of you that throwing all that dirty shit on there, get that shit off my stand. I don't even want to know about none of that stuff, guys. Guys, thank you again for coming on my channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'll see you guys mañana. Grand on.